Right then, a little aside from full race car videos, so this is just going to be a little short one, don't know how long it's going to be, depends how long I talk crap for, but basically the golf front bumper were taking too long to make, too long to chop out, costing too much money to do, so we decided we're going to get some moulded. So this is the old one, here, so this is, we've screwed a, a grill to it, so there's a cost in the grill. Then it's a golf R bumper that we end up hacking to bits and we put this little dam on bottom and we've got little grills to put in. Then we've got the VW Motorsport size to put on and it just takes forever. It looks worse than it was before because before it weren't part of the mould. But yeah, a lot of work goes into it. I think it took a full day maybe to get it from all the bits to get it to fit nice and whatever. So if we're at the track and we had a crash, We'd be running with no bumper basically for the next round, or at least the next event. So we decided we're going to sort it out. So I spoke to Oliver at AJ Glass Fibre, who's done a fair bit of work for us already. He took this, cried for a while, gave it to one of the lads who's got patience, sort of saying, and he made it into a mould, which I've got a little bit of video of the mould from this morning. And then, let me get out of it where you because I'm getting trapped. Put it on quiet. You got some of this stuff as well, which this is some like fiberglass tapes. It looks like exhaust wrap, but it's not as itchy. And then he's put that in here as well, which is pretty good. I like it. Um, so that should stop it just exploding. But Paul gave him quite a long list of demands. And this is literally just being trimmed this morning. We've not even cleaned it yet. We'll see what it looks like in a bit. And this was version this was version one, but it didn't have the bottom piece on here, which I don't think will be a problem because it's quite stiff. And version two had the bottom piece on here, but I think version three we're going to have the returns going to be on the back if people want it. Obviously, it's not going to go on your road car and you're going to be like this is absolutely perfect into that standard and that ain't what we needed and the mould would never have been to that standard anyway but for a race car this is going to be absolutely perfect so I think we're taking whichever one of these we don't use we're going to be taking to Anglesey with us and selling it to one of the other race teams that's probably going to end up all going in the bin yeah so these are going to be for sale I think I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to be but we'll dub it over if I get it wrong but it'll be 350 pounds plus VAT. For this, which I think for a bumper that should just drop straight on, need need wrapping. You could even, I think, if you order it and you've got a decent, you're happy to wait a decent amount of time, we could probably have it in whatever colour gel coat you wanted, so you wouldn't even need wrapping if you just wanted to put some stickers on it. But we'll see about that one. So, yeah. We'll let Paul fit, we'll clean it, then let Paul fit it, see what he thinks. See what, it, uh, see what it looks like, but it's miles stiffer and it's not ridiculously heavy. I don't know exactly how heavy it is. We can probably weigh it. I think the next one we might do it a bit thinner, but depends what you want really. If you can order it and you're happy to wait a few weeks, then you can have it whatever colour and as thin or as thick as you want really. So, yeah. Thank you.
So, version three of the bumper is here. I'm just getting ready to be wrapped. So we're gonna fit a new splitter when it comes back. But yeah, a lot better. The return's going the other way now. We strained it out a little bit because it had got a little bit twisted, which took a fair bit of doing. So these, you'll see it in its finished form. We never even wrapped the other one. Look at this, it's not even. We just put some little bits of red on it and hope for best. So before we send it over to Gig for them to wrap it, hey, oh, nearly dropped it. Harry's made these little brake ducts, which are, oh, look at that, perfect. So if you want some of them, you can sort them out. Should look good when it's finished. We'll send it over to Gig, let them finish it anyway. Thank you.